Hey. Hey. What did I tell you? I'm not shouting, but it's hurting. Oh no. I keep wondering. This girl only cries in the evening. And only at the time when his uncle is back home. What is happening? Hello, James. Hello. I have a neighbor who has a young girl between 11 to 12 years of age. This is the third time I hear her cry in a scared tone. I suspect something could be wrong. Please come and check on her. Can I help you? Are you the owner of this place? Yes, sir. I'm ASP Odoi James from Zambia Police Station. Jeff Kalamaji, how may I help you, ASP? Uh, Mr. Kalamaji, how many kids do you have in your home? Just one. Why? Your Majesty. Jeff is my brother. In fact, he's the one following me. When our father died, I took him to my house. I gave him food. I put a roof on his head. I took him to school until he graduated. He left my house after gaining his momentum financially and married. When my husband died, the bank sent us out of our house that my husband had used as a security to get a business loan. So, I became incapable of looking after my daughter, Linda. Jeff came to me and said that he can give my daughter a good life and take her to school. But it's a shame. It's a shame that he chose to rape her. Oh, niece. Jeff, for what you did to my daughter, Jeff, I'll never forgive you. I'll not and I'll never forgive you. Just go to hell and you're no longer my brother. You're no longer my brother. Mr. Jeff Karamaji, based on the hospital reports, it is vividly indicated that you raped Miss Linda Mtabazi. Yet you're HIV positive. And two months back, your wife died of the same cause. This clearly shows that you had a motive of murdering this tender girl. Therefore, due to the above facts, the court has proven you guilty of defilement and attempted murder of Miss Linda Mtabazi. With the power entrusted in me I hereby sentence you to life imprisonment. Court dismissed.
just made me do something crazy on the street. Oh, you did it! Yeah. You like it? Mm, it smells so wonderful. Sure. Yeah, thank you. Great. Oh my so you should God. just get there. Oh, no, no. Look, this is how we are in love. Mm -hmm. So this is how I am in love with you. I'm blind. I walk backwards, but I still walk. Oh, come on. You think it's any different with me? Uh-huh. I am in this with you together. We are in this together. Are you sure? Yes. Honey, watch out. You might fall. Uh-uh. I can't. Sure. <laughs> Honey, watch out for that huh? behind you. What? Nice ride. Excuse me, Miss Lara. Sir Austin requests to have a chat with you. Sir Austin? I'm sorry. Tell Austin that I'm pretty busy right now. Lala, who is Sir Austin? He's a nobody. Sir, Lala has refused. Come on, go and convince her to come. I really need her. Go, go. What do you want me to tell you? Um, sorry, Miss Lada. Sir Austin insists on having a chat with you. Why does he have to send you the whole time to do his dirty work errand boy? Go tell him to come out if he's man enough. What is going on? Lala, Sir errand boy, man enough. What is going on? Wow. Wow. Lala, <laughs> I just want a few minutes of your time. I'm sorry. Hmm? I believe time is money and I am not wasting a penny on you. How much? How much what? You think everything revolves around your money? How much is every minute of your time? <laughs> mm. You wouldn't dare if I tried. Ah, come on, dare me. <laughs> mm -hmm. 200,000 shillings per minute. Okay. Okay what? Okay like you're going to give me the money? Yeah. How many minutes do you need? Well, uh, we took about 30 minutes or less. Um, that's approximately mm. six millions. Mm -hmm. You're not considering to do that. Lala, please talk to me. Ever since I left my stepmother's house, the landlord has been on my neck over overdue rent, and I've sincerely run out of options. It's, it's not like we're going to do anything. We're just going to talk. What? Nana, please don't do this. Look, if it's about the money, we can figure out how I can get it for you. Please don't do this. I'm sorry, Jim. I, I need this money. Lala, if you enter that car, it is over between me and you. Like I told you, we didn't do anything. Shame on your empty soul, Lala. Nothing happened like I told you. Jim, okay, I'll call you. So, Mr. Semogere, 
Are you certain that you were present at the crime scene at the exact time when the crime was being committed? Yes. Cancel! Yes, cancel. Good. So in what direction were you at the crime scene? 9.45 o'clock from the CCM building. Can you describe exactly what you saw during the time when you were at the crime scene? It was around 11.20 p.m. I was walking. It is usually this place where I pass from work going home. I received a phone call from a workmate who asked me to, to wait for her so we could go together. I sat on the pavement west north of the CCM building. Three minutes later, I saw a girl running and screaming. Two men were chasing after her. She fell down and they started raping her one at a time as the other was watching and keeping guard. So, are you telling this court that you saw a young girl being raped and all you did was enjoy the shop? What would I have done? There were two men. What do you think would have happened if I made a move? A move? I don't like that bitch. I just hate her. Sure, me too. Mr. Semogere, let me tell you what your next move is. You're moving to prison and that is a real deal. And you want to know why? Because false witnessing is a crime. Objection, Your Honor. I would like Counsel Lala to stop questioning and threatening the witness because her questions and comments are pointless in regards to this crime. Objection sustained. Counsel Lala, proceed. There's something that happened to me, you know, like I was looking at this person, looking straight into my eye when he knew he was wrong, but he didn't even want he to did. believe he it. He did. He doesn't make apologies. Watch where you got Chiku. What did you call me? I said, watch where you got Chiku. Papa. And you think it's funny? No, it's not. Uh -huh. But at least it's got your attention, thick brains. What is wrong with you? Can't you for once ex excuse me, I'm passing? Are you quite demented? Can't you see that that's a doorway and they don't stand in Ladies, it? Ladies, please. Let's grow up for once. Don't you get tired of doing this every day no. at school? No, I can't even upgrade to beating oh your ass. God, let's see who what? gets beaten up. What is the point of all? You stole our roads. I was supposed to be in defense and Whitney was supposed to prosecute. <laughs> we actually would have done it better than you. Do you girls ever believe in democracy? Democracy? Because believe it or not, we won you during the roll tests. Mm -hmm. So live with it. Mm. You know what? I don't have time for foolish arguments. If you have any problem, take it up with the lecturer. Come on, Lala, let's go. You two were saved by Linda. Shit. How was I? You were good. I didn't know you could sustain a long argument. Really? And how was I? Wow. Good for a starting fighter. We'll meet them in the next session. Sorry, sorry. It's okay, it's okay. You okay? Yes, thank you. Thank oh, my pleasure. I'm, I'm Martin. I'm Linda. Oh, nice meeting you, Linda. Nice to meet you, Martin. Yeah, sorry. Are you sure you're fine? I'm fine. Linda, you haven't touched your food. What's wrong? Doesn't the food taste good? It does, Mom. You know you're the best cook. Then eat your food before it gets cold, my dear. I just don't have the appetite. I have a lot on my mind. Honey, ever since last year, every semester that comes around this time, it's hard. You lose your appetite, cry sometimes, but it passes. And you want to know why? It's because your education is not in your country. It's in God's. He knows the situation and he won't disappoint you. Mom, the first round of tests is starting in just a week. 
I should have already paid all my tuition to enroll for the round one tests. But where? Where am I going to get that sort of money? You know that if I do not do these exams, I can never be sure of my tomorrow. This is my last semester, Mom. Relax. Relax and take your food. And wait for God to worry about your tomorrow. Just keep your faith. Okay? I wish Mr. Jonathan was still alive. Oh, I miss him too. He was a good man. But let's face the reality the way it is. Let's let the dead rest. All right? Take your food. Linda, Linda. Ah, oh, sorry for the interruption. Um, nice meeting you again. I'm Martin. Don't you remember me? The thief saga. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh. <laughs> um. Sorry, I, I'm sorry I didn't recognize you. Oh, <laughs> you ought to pay me for that. How can you just forget a friend like that? What can I offer you? I'm a student. I don't have the ability to offer you anything. Well, you can pay me by having lunch with me. <laughs> How can I have lunch with a stranger? And what will I tell my mom who is already waiting for me? Oh, you mean you always go back for lunch? Yeah, I mean, she thinks <laughs> she's the only one who can make a meal for me and nobody else. Okay, um, how about having a drink together as we get to know each other? Simple. I am Linda. I'm 24 years old. I'm a student at Macquarie University. Hope you know me now. <laughs> You're a lawyer, right? <laughs> You're a lawyer. Guilty as charged. <laughs> How did you guess? Oh, you spoke like a lawyer. <laughs> but I'm sure you'll be a very good lawyer. <laughs> a very good one. <laughs> anyway, now I know you. But you don't know me. You're Martin. Just the name. Ah, oh, okay. You've won, Martin. Okay. But um, just lunch. Nothing else. Of course. Oh, Martin. <laughs> Yo, man. Hello. Hi, Martin. Oh, I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. How is that side? Very good. Where are you? Hey, come on. I will use your place. Hey. I'm not seeing you around. I'm here in the VIP. Oh. I wanted to show you someone. Ah, come on, Martin. Me, I'm inside here enjoying myself. You show me some other time. Come oh, on. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. See you later. All right, man. Cool. With who? Oh, come on, of course, darling. You, with you. You're, you're inside enjoying yourself with yes, you. With you, my oh, wife. Man. Come on, <laughs> Sheila. On All right. All right. I'm sorry, darling. I'm sorry. Mm. Ah. Mom? I'm home. <laughs> Very busy day, wasn't it? <laughs> you took so long, mm. my dear. It has been very hectic, ma'am. I need to rest my bones down. Then let's first take in something. You must be hungry too. You mean to say you haven't eaten yet? Oh, my dear. Lunch is boring when you're not around. Ma'am. I'm sorry for keeping you waiting and starving. But I'm not going to have lunch with you today. I need to rest first. Linda. Linda. If you start dodging your meals just because you've not paid the tuition, how long do you think you will survive? How will your medicine be effective when you don't eat and on time? 
Mom, it's not about tuition. I'm not mourning for unpaid tuition. All I need is a rest and I'll be fixed. Linda, are you taking your medication very well? You look dehydrated and pale. I haven't been sleeping well. Any problem? I'm running out of options about to get my tuition. So, what are you going to do? I don't know yet. Hopefully, something good might come out of this new boyfriend of mine. You have a boyfriend? Yes, and his name is Martin. So, you think this Martin will pay your tuition? He carries all my odds right now, Rabina. Okay, but you have to be very careful. You don't know him well enough. <laughs> He's the one to be careful with me. I mean, I'm already positive. Yes, exactly. And you're living positively. You can't let anyone break you down. That brings me to why I'm here. I would like to test my HIV status. <laughs> you think you received a miracle? It's possible. Well, don't raise your hopes so high. You're okay, the way you are. Fill in this form, here, and you go to room seven, you'll be tested there. Hello? Hi, Lara. This is uh, Martin, Linda's boyfriend. Yeah, we last met on dinner some few nights back. Hello. <laughs> I remember you, Martin. Hi. Hi. Um, would you please help me? I have been trying Linda's phone for two days and she has been off. I'm worried the probably she might be having a problem. Would you help me locate me for her? Both. Okay. Meet me at the library. I'll take you there. All right. Thanks. This is the house. Let's okay. go in. No, I'm not going in. Just call her out. Why? I just don't want to come in, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to call her. All right, thank you. All right. Don't move. Okay. <laughs> Yes, come in. Oh, Lala! <laughs> you must have thought of us deeply today, my dear. You're welcome. Thanks, Ma. Uh, it's been a while since I saw you last. I hope you've been doing all right. Oh, my dear, I'm doing all right. Are the books treating you well? <laughs> books are never fair, Ma. Um, is Linda all right? I haven't seen her in days and her phone is off. I thought that maybe she's sick. Her phone is off? Yeah. Let me try to call her and you see. Oh, it's indeed off. Mm. And anyway, let me go and I call her for you. you. You know what? Never mind, ma. I'll go and talk to her myself. It's okay, my dear. Right. Wow, look at the book from over here. Lala, surprise visit? Yeah, Martin is outside waiting for you. What do you mean outside? What I mean is, since your phone has been off for days, Martin asked me to come and see you, so I brought him and he's outside waiting for you in his car. Are you sure it's been off? So my trick finally worked. What trick? 
How do I look? Appeasing and natural. He will love your natural look. Okay, okay. Wow. So this is why you're always best in class. Always reading. Damn, this girl has no life. Hi, love. Mm. Hi. How are you, lovely? Are you alright? Well, um, I can't lie that I am. But I believe everything will be fine. What is the problem? No, Martin. It's not my habit to concern people with my problems. Mm -mm. Linda, I came here because I was worried about you. And I care for you deeply. I feel so bad if I don't see you each time. And if these problems will keep you away from me, then let me help you. Please tell me. Okay. I'm likely not to do my exams. And that means I won't graduate and look for a job. I'm worried, Martin. Don't worry. Okay, calm down. Look, a problem shared is a problem solved. Okay? Do you get me? Yeah. So, how much tuition do you need? Two million. And when is the deadline? I have three days to have it on the university accounts. All right. I'll give it to you tomorrow. Okay? Just send the account details onto my email address. All right? <laughs> Cheer up, beautiful girl. Thank you. <laughs> you have saved me. <laughs> okay. Okay, Thank then. You, mm. Oh, my God. Look, Linda, I yearn and long to have you in my bed. I don't sleep. I always think about you, and I imagine a million things. I don't know what to say. You don't need to say anything. <laughs> um, did you go for the HIV testing? Yes. And? And? See for yourself. Wow. Congratulations. You're negative. Oh my! <laughs> wow, mm, that is so lovely. And did did you test? Oh, I do that after two weeks. Trust really? me. Oh. <laughs> oh, just a second. Yes, there you are. You're the most negative man I've ever met. <laughs> In a positive way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, oh. Sorry. I ran out of office to come and see you. Now that I've seen you, please, let me rush back to work. Hope we can have dinner tonight together. It's a date. I'll call you after work. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> and then I told you, <laughs> Mom, God is good. All the time, and that's his nature. I am going to do my exam. Hmm? <gasps> How? Did they allow you to do the ah. exams without paying the school dues first? My friend Martin is paying all of it. <laughs> Why Martin? Linda, have you finally lost your trust in God's providence? No, ma'am. This is really God. But you should also know that God is not going to send tuition flying out of heaven. 
God uses people. Linda, you are now a grown up. I no longer order you like I used to do. Just be careful. Did you go for your blood checkup? Yes, ma'am. Why? Are you of the same status? Mom, trust me. I can handle this. Lala, I think it's best if we go to my room and read for their exams. Yeah. Thanks, Ma, for that coffee. You're welcome. Call the lawyer to my office now. The day we went to that woman's house, she said she didn't have any affair with my late husband, didn't she? Yes, madam. Well, she lied. Damn it. That woman was screwing my husband all the time I've been in London. <sighs> well, the good news is that our fake court workers threw them out of their house. So it's all yours. I don't think that is enough. So, what are you going to do next? I plan to make her pay. She and her bastard daughter are going to regret having known my husband. Have you been talking to my errant boys of recent? Well, yes, madam. But as a company lawyer, I would advise you to let it pass. You don't have to stain your present smell of success with evil. <laughs> Is that a lawyer's job to advise? The day I need your advice, I'll first of all write your promotion letter and then I'll increase your salary, okay? Okay. If it was not for my advice, then why did you invite me here? Contact my errant boys to be on standby. And you, get out of my office before I fire you for your uncontrolled water. Nonsense. I'm sorry. Get out! How can I help you? Madam, my name is Jen Mugula. This is my boss, Mrs. Zita Rubuama, the CEO of JetTech Security Group Limited. Okay. At the beginning of this year, we found out that you and your daughter were beneficiaries of JetTech Security Group Limited without clear attachments. So, the company cancelled out all the future transactions until you come out openly to claim why you've been receiving a lot of money from jet tech, however. A few days later, we also realized that you've been dwelling on the company property illegally. My late husband engaged himself in so many illegal marital affairs during his leisure time, and he ended up giving away the company properties pleasantly. Now, what affair he had with you no longer matter to me because he's dead, but the company properties does. Madam, you are asked to hand back this house to the company and evacuate it immediately. What are you talking about? You've heard me. This is my house. Mr. Jonathan gave this house to us. It's no longer a company property. And please, I never had any marital affairs with Mr. Jonathan, neither my daughter Linda. So how did he end up in here? Madam, I'm the lawyer of JetTech Security Group Limited, and I keep track of every property that belongs to the company. All these documents vividly indicates that this house is still a property of jet tech. If Mr. Jonathan and Wam wanted you to flow on this house, he would have transferred ownership into your names. <laughs> but he didn't. The CEO has a right to do whatever she wants with the company property. <laughs> so, my late husband being the CEO, he chose to give you the company property. And now that I'm the CEO, I choose that you leave the company property. So, meaning you've been tenants? No, I can't believe you. I've lived here for 
10 years, 10 good years. So where do you expect me to go? <laughs> Unfortunately, where you go is none of my business. Hmm? <laughs> the least I can do is to give you a few days and evacuate it peacefully. Or else it will be the court to drag you out. I can't leave this house. My daughter is a lawyer too. We shall meet in a court. <laughs> okay. As you wish. Let's meet in court. What a wicked heart these people have. I won't leave this house. I'm telling you. wrong? Why are you crying? <coughs> My daughter. We are doomed. The world has permitted us the second time. What are you talking about? The new CEO of Chete came to our house. And she said that we should evacuate this house. What? No. That it belongs to the company. That we have no residential right to be here. <coughs> no, ma'am. We can't not leave. She, she only gave us a few days to leave. No. Ma'am, we cannot leave. We can't leave. Mr. Jonathan gave us this house. You should have told her that. I told her, but she wouldn't listen to me. <coughs> no. Where shall we go now? Mom, where shall we go? I don't think they can throw us out. For all the long time we've owned it. Yes, Lala. Uh, is Linda home? She has crossed herself for two days in her bedroom. What? She won't open for me. I don't know what's wrong with her. She's always crying. What? Let me see if I can get her out. She won't open for you. Then I'll break the door. Linda! Linda! Open! I'm joking. Lena, come on, open. Are you insane closing yourself in the room for two days? And why wouldn't you open for your mom? The woman is worried to death. I'm still gaining self composure. I don't want her to see me in this state. See you like how? Like this. I don't want her to see me like this yet she warned me about this whole thing. Warned you about what? About Martin! For once I wanted her to be wrong, but she's never wrong! <laughs> Martin is married, Lala! What? Martin is happily married with a kid! <laughs> He's been lying to me this whole entire time. Oh my god. <laughs> and how did you find out? 
I wanted to surprise him on his birthday. And I told Uncle Mike to tell him. And that's how I found out. Yuck! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> so what are you going to do? Nothing. I've already registered him in my history book. I'm sorry, Linda. <laughs> You'll be fine. I don't think I'll be. I loved him so much. Oh, no. <laughs> I cannot spend a day without thinking of his beautiful smile. I think I'm going insane, Lala. Aren't I? <laughs> you need to bind yourself together. <laughs> Round two of your bar exam is next week. You can't let a broken heart drag you down. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We're here in the court order to send you out of this house and lock it down. And where is the court order? Here. This notice indicates that we failed to show up in court for the trial on the 3rd. And today is the 8th. I'm sorry, gentlemen. We cannot agree to your court orders since we didn't receive a letter inviting us to court. Actually, madam, I brought the letter myself and I gave it to that lady. Mom, did that gentleman give you any letter? Yes. Then why in the universe didn't you tell me? How on earth was I supposed to talk to you when for the first four days you came back late at night? And for the last two days, you crossed yourself in the room oh and you didn't talk to me. We are screwed. Linda, what is going on? Gentlemen, can you please give us a few more days so that we can see what to do next? I'm sorry, madam. The court order is already out. But this is our house. Mr. Jonathan gave this house to us. We are not going anywhere. Louise. Yes, boss. Go in, remove their belongings and close the house. You are not yeah. entering my house without Stay my back. permission! Step back! Yeah. Step back! <laughs> what are you going to do? I can't believe that this is happening to us. We need a plan. Do you have any money? This is not enough. I have a few thousands too, but even when combined, it can't give us enough money to rent a house for three months. Can't we stay at your place as I look for a job? We can't. I live with my stepmother and she's a devil. She can't allow you to stay there with her. Let's use this money and hire a simple lodge for tonight and tomorrow we shall see what to do next. This is your house. <laughs> Martin, thank you. You're welcome. You like it? Of course I do. Please, you can go in.
Linda. Oh, you're fine. Nice to know that. <laughs> Lala told me about what happened to you. <laughs> Lala, she can't let me tell my story on my own, can she? <laughs> <laughs> so, where do you stay? Martin bought me a house. Are you serious? Yep. You are lucky dot of a gun. <laughs> it's God. Indeed, <laughs> it is. <laughs> anyway, are you having any side effects with the prescriptions that we made for you last time? I feel normal. Just a little headache, dizziness. So that means we can prescribe that and add a few septrins. Yes. Um, Robina, have you ever been betrayed? Frankly, several times. Is it always painful? Yes, but since I've been heartbroken so many times, my heart is now like wood. No one can pierce even when they try. Um, go to the pharmacy and get your medication before the line gets long. You're most welcome. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. You look elegant. Thank you. You too. My love. Yes? This is for you. Oh my God. Martin, you're proposing to me? Sure. <sighs> and just a moment. My love. And we should stop using this such that you can bear children. Martin. This is really good and amazing. Okay. But Okay. But you need first talk to my sister. If you agree with each other, then we proceed. Wow. You mean marrying you I need to first talk to your sister for her consent? Wait a minute. You mean your sister is more valuable more than your mother in your life? No. You met my mom too, but you need first talk to my sister. Okay, okay. When am I meeting her? with you is next week. Why are you here? I need your help. I'm in serious trouble, Robina. Martin proposed to me. Wow. 
congrats. So Martin decides to marry you even if he's negative and you're positive. And you come here lamenting trouble. How troublesome is that? Martin doesn't know that I'm HIV positive. And he insists that we cease to use condoms. Didn't you guys go for a blood checkup? We did, but but not together. Do you remember that day I came and you asked me if I wanted to know whether I had received a miracle? Thank God. So you're now negative. You received a miracle. I wish. I took the paper to a computer friend of mine and I changed the results to negative. It's what I gave him. So he believed the results. D didn't you tell me that guy is a doctor? He is. Love can't measure how much. How do you want my help now? I want you to help me talk to Martin. I want him to find out that I'm positive. With that, I won't have to worry about infecting him in case of any slight mistake. Martin is married with a kid and... Wait. But he's married too? <laughs> wow. When I met Martin, I thought he was playing with his words. That's why it was easy for me to lie and play around with mine too. I guess I just wanted to use him for my tuition. But slowly by slowly, I started loving him. Even after I discovered that he was married and with a kid, I wanted to hate him. But I just continued loving him. I don't want to lose him, Robina. I'm in this too deep. The man wants to start a family with me. He has already bought me a house, top into my university tuition, and a countless number of gifts. Linda, you don't owe Martin anything. Everything he has done is out of his own will and liberty. That's why I need your help. I want him to discover that I'm positive. It will be too shameful if he discovers it out from me. I already told him that I have a big sister of mine whom he should ask for permission first before we do anything any further. You're my good sister, Robina. You cannot abandon me now. Okay, okay. There is no harm in talking to him. But what if he finds out that you're HIV positive? What are you going to do? I want to stay optimistic and hope and pray for the best. Dr. Martin. Oh. I'm Robina. Nice meeting you, Robina. You're most welcome. Please have a seat. Thank you. Sorry for keeping you waiting. No, it's all right. I didn't wait for so long. Linda talks so much about you. It's nice to finally meet you. Thank you. Is it true that you really love Linda and you're willing to marry her? That satisfies the reason as to why I'm here. <laughs> See? My sister has never shown me or introduced to me a man before. You should be lucky that you're the first. <laughs> but again, are you not going to hurt her by loving any other woman apart from her? Let me ask you a question. Sister. Who are you concerning Linda's life? Good question. You see, I'm her big sister and I advise her from making any grave mistakes that will end up ruining her life. And she's still young. You can also see that. She's younger compared to you in all possible ways. Okay. Thank you, Martin. But I ask you a question. Are you ready to love her minus any other woman? Yes. Good. Did you guys go for a blood checkup? Of course. It's the first thing we did. Good thing. So, did you guys go to the same place? Did you guys go together or you went to your places of convenience? That's right. Dr. Martin, are you a professional doctor or something else? By profession. Professional doctor, how sure were you that the results were true and pure, yet you never went to the same places of checkup? <laughs> Let me advise you, Robina. 
look, even though you go together for a blood checkup, so long as you're not married legally, you receive your results separately. To be frank, I cannot hand over my sister to a man who I'm not sure of their results. And before anything else, I would like you guys to redo the test. You see, I do not trust the eye judgment. Nowadays, you see the positive look even better than the negative. Would a uh, redo checkup be okay with you? It's all right. I have no problem. I'm open book. Good thing. I can't wait to read it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> It was nice chatting with you. Yeah. Please. So, are you ready? Um, um, yeah. Wait, I would like to make a phone call. Hello, Mom. Um, I'll be back a bit late. Where did you go without informing me? I didn't carry my pair of keys and now I will be stranded outside the house the whole evening. No, I'm not so far. I'm still after something important. Okay, good that you've informed me. I guess I will hang around my church friends till you come back. Okay. Bye, Mom. <clears throat> so, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Each of you will answer the questions on that form, and then we shall proceed to the next step. results with me. Mr. Martin. Yes, please. You are HIV negative. Congratulations and wow. keep protecting yourself. Linda, you are HIV positive. No, no, that's not true. I saw Linda's results. I saw her results. Something is wrong. I mean, something is wrong either with the machine or the computer or you. No. Something is wrong with you, Mr. Martin. How? As a professional doctor, you cannot just believe a piece of paper that was handed over to you. I'm, I'm sorry. I went overboard. Linda, Linda, the results you gave me they were the right ones, right? Linda, look at me and tell me the truth. Did you give me the right results in the car? Did you? What? Oh my God. You hid such important message from me? Linda, you wanted to kill me? Linda, you have a heart. Somewhere in your body, I don't care where. The reason I brought you here was to make sure you know the truth. You fooled me. When I was busy loving you, you were busy playing around with me. Playing around with my life. With my love. Oh my God, did you ever mean any single word that you uttered from your mouth? Martin, I loved you. I know forever do. How do I know you're not faking it now, like you did on your results? I love you and that has never changed. Stop! Stop it! Your word means nothing to me now. It's over between me and you. Martin. And Linda, listen to me. I didn't break with you because you are HIV positive. Martin. But I broke up with you because you're a liar. Martin. I can forgive anything, but not lies. Martin. Don't ever come near me again. I hate you. And I hate you a lot. Just get off me! Don't ever come near me and don't touch me! No sense! 